The Million March for Children was just the other week, and this is a movement that is moving forward. Let's see where this goes. Joining me today, Camille El Sheik. Thank you so much for joining me. Uh, what a tremendous event this popped off in uh, 70 some odd cities across Canada, coast to coast. So many people got involved. So many people got together. Yeah, there was counter protests, but this was a really, really big event that, that sent a lot of people in the right direction to know that Canadian parents are getting together from all different communities under one umbrella, the, the, the Canadian flag. You put this on. Congratulations. Oh, thank you very much. You know what? Also, congratulations to the hardworking team. I had people almost get into a car accident because they were so excited, working 23 hours, sleeping one. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I, I belong to, to uh, one of the best teams in the country. And, um, you know, uh, the reason why it was so successful is because the message, uh, Clyde, is so easy. Hands off the kids parental consent until 18 and we're looking to unite the nation you know all denominations under God and it was a very simple message but yet it was uh, difficult for some special interest groups that decided to counter protest yeah so there, there was a counter protest and then the, we had the media who was quite loud about this this whole thing painting uh, the protest in or, or the march in in a particular light that, that you normally see and this is I mean we've all we're all kind of getting used to this it, it doesn't matter what yeah. what sort of uh, background you're in or what have you it always ends up that you're some sort of bigot and uh, homophobic, Transphobe, all, homophobe, all, yeah. all of the all of the basket of deplorables, I guess Hillary Clinton <laughs> called it a, a bunch of years ago, and I think it's, it's not working anymore for these people. It just doesn't seem to be uh, doing the trick. It seems that more the more and more people get included in this group of of political uh, pariahs. It just becomes the average people nowadays, and it, it, this is what I really saw when I went to this event the the people were just happy and 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 wholesome i i, I couldn't get my head i couldn't get around that you know what um i i found something very remarkable clyde is you know i had people do selfies and come shake my hand and tears of joy you, you get big guys guy guys guy just crying tears of joy and saying thank you very much you know what you gave us hope I'm, I'm, I, and I said, can you promise me to protect your kids? And he's like, yo, you're darn right. I'm going to do that. And I'm just, you know, having fun with their kids and asking them, what would you like to do when you grow up? You know, listen to your mom and dad. Those are the people you should be trusting. And it was just a beautiful event. Uh, you know, so many mothers crying tears of joy, man. It was remarkable to see Clyde and it was well needed. I mean, eight years of oppression and, you know, uh, a seditious uh, rhetoric it's nice to see for a change the country come together and just you know for one common cause and it's the kids and legislatively we're actually seeing in, in the provincial governments moving in the right direction now the new brunswick government recently passed legislation saying that you won't be allowed to hold secrets from parents when it comes to this gender ideology stuff now this isn't to say that you know some people want their kids to be able to do that stuff and talk about those things that's fine. Uh, it's this is more about the parents that don't want that stuff to be introduced, especially behind their back, uh, in, in these yeah. in these ways. And and this is the gripe from the counter protesters that this is this is somehow bigoted, um, when this is really just about parental rights. Now, this this movement is is a movement, but it's going somewhere. Where where is the? I see that there's a, a new website up. There's hands off yeah. uh, our kids. And uh, this is, where, where is this going forward from here? Well, I mean, uh, you know, uh, I, I don't know if you remember, uh, I made a bold statement and it went viral uh, everywhere. And uh, I mentioned after seeing the Zoom video of the people, uh, the U QP and, and some of the unions try to um, protest our event which is a peaceful event. We're not targeting uh, the pride community at all. We just want our rights. Um, so we're kind of somehow seen as a taboo. But they said, uh, you know, they're, they're coming to counter. And I said, if you dare try to counter, 
we're going to consider that a threat. And moving forward, every Pride event is going to be a counter for us. So we are the straight tie, the 98.4% of heterosexual parents, uh, you know, wanting to protect their kids. And we're going to be the counter to the Pride, unfortunately. Now, you know, we also have a lot of compassion. We, we love everybody. We wish everybody well. I had gay subordinates. I know not every gay person agrees with this, but that's not my concern. It's not about homosexuals. It's about heterosexuals this time trying to protect children's rights, right? Mm -hmm. and, and their kids' rights. I mean, again, you know, with all due respect to the pride community, they don't procreate. Um, it's heterosexuals that do. And that's a fact. So um, why are you telling us how to raise our kids when you don't have any, right? Mm -hmm. And let's be honest, let's call a spade a spade. So there was the unions and they were organizing and I, I brought up to the fact that this is against probably the wishes of the majority of their due payers in these unions. They're yeah. taking this upon themselves to do this activism. And, and I, I actually got in touch with you because of a website that I found that was specifically designed to just uh, libel or slander you in particular. It's, this is a, oh, there's a, there's a, there's a few of those. <laughs> yeah. And because and, uh, reading through this, I know who you are and I know some of your accomplishments uh, and the things that you've said. Uh, a lot of this is just, uh, I mean, it's just a slander job. Now, this this is a concern because there's a lot of concerned parents that want to come out, but then they don't want to be labeled in this way, too. And they want to be reassured that, you know, the people that are involved in these in these organizations and these these things are, 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 you know, premium caliber people like yourself. I'm a and father of three married men, Muslim men. I mean, you, you're going to use uh, my, my, my creed card, my faith card, uh, terrorists, whatever. You guys, I, I, I saw it all. I'm not, I'm not surprised. I mean, if I was white, it would be white supremacist, right? Um, so I, I get it. I mean, I'm on a very big platform and, you know, there is a vested interest by a radical uh, interest group uh, to topple me somehow and, and put a wrench to this initiative. But you know what? You know, I promised everybody we're going to have a million people march from coast to coast. Some people complained and said, you know, Wednesday, uh, you know, it's not in the middle of the week. I'm like, parents are going to take the day off because they love their kids. Mm -hmm. I and did. Take the day off. <laughs> I did. I went to yeah. Vancouver and I pulled the kids Absolutely. out of school and we went, we went. And, you know, and just like teachers can shut you down, shut, shut people off, go behind your back and tell your kids what to do. And the government can shut you down for many, many reasons uh, and keep your kids home. It's time for parents to do that and show who's boss. Right. Mm -hmm. And we did that in the middle of the week on purpose because we knew that the media has all the full cast during the week. We knew parliaments were sitting whether they're on the municipal level or, you know, in Ottawa, you know, Justin Trudeau and everybody else was sitting, right? Mm -hmm. um, and that's why we had, you know, uh, politicians come and endorse our, our protests, but they were all watching. Yeah. And that was on purpose. So there, <laughs> there, there was uh, politicians, namely our prime minister, that slandered the parents that came out to these events as being all of the epithets, the homophobic, uh, transphobic, bi biphobic, uh, apparently is a new one. And uh, yeah. I, the, the other side of the coin was conservatives that were too afraid to come out and say that they were for it, or some of them that outright denounced it. And I, I put out my, um, my gripe about that whole thing. And then a few days later, uh, Pierre Polyev even came out in, in, in support of the, the message that the parents are, you know, keeping his political distance. But this, this, is, this is what I really wanted to focus on today was to show that none of that exists, actually. And the, the event was nothing to do with that. And that people had come together for wholesome means. And, uh, and there was no hate. The hate was actually on the other side of the aisle. Oh, it was beautiful. Yeah, it was on the other side. And, you know, like when you're battling gender dysphoria and when you're constantly looking to be satiated and it's never ending, you know, there's that attitude of them being condescending to other people. And that's unacceptable. And all counters did that. Mm -hmm. And that's that, you know, to consider us, you know, taboo, no rights. And yet you're seeking, oh, like, look, the, the, I felt bad. You're against pride. You're transphobe. You're homophobe. Wait a sec. You got Pride Day, Pride Week, 
Pride month, pride year, pride season, pride flags everywhere, pride stickers, pride banking apps. How much more do you want? One day where just parents are saying, and it's very simple, hands off our kids, parental rights until 18. Now all of a sudden it's back to pride again? No, it's not. For, with all due respect, you got your whole year, okay? Let's have that day for Canada's families. And we united the nation together. And now 900 priests came to our organization about five days ago, okay? And, you know, we've asked for the Christian Muslim dialogue from coast to coast. So priests and imams, you know, mosques and synagogues and, and churches are going to be opened up. They're going to be working side by side, everybody with their respective faith, the Canadian way. But they're going to be working together to protect Canada's kids. That's, I have those agreements. That's amazing. That's amazing. That's that's something that we haven't seen since, uh, well, 9-11, uh, when, when everybody got yeah. divided up. And it's really, really good to see that people coming together for such a, a wholesome reason. Camille, Elsie, thank you so much for joining me today and uh, taking time Bye. out of your day to, you. to speak. Thank you for coming out and thank, keep doing what you're doing. God bless you, brother. Cheers.